Hello everyone. How are you doing? You are most welcome. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for tuning in. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching this video, wherever you are watching from, may God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Please join us if you have not. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the bell so that you will always get updates. I come here to pray with you every day and go on life once in a week. Miracle will surely happen in your life. All you need to do is to believe. Faith is all you need. And you will see God working wonders in your life. So today, we are going to talk about growth. As a human being, you need to grow. You need to prosper. You need to move forward. There are some people, they have been working at a particular place for so many years. They are not growing. They have not been promoted. Okay, you are looking for a good job. And for now, you work at a very small place. And one funny thing about this is that when you are working at a very small place, you will not even have the time to search for that good job because the owner of that place, your boss, will not even give you that time. By so doing, you are stagnated. You are at one spot. You are not growing. Or maybe you have been doing one business. You are a business person. Up until now, your business is still at the same spot. Even if you are growing, there is no noticeable difference. See, as a human being, I don't expect you to grow overnight. No. You don't grow overnight, but at times, day by day, week by week, month by month, there should be growth. There should be addition. You are a lady or you are a man. You have been searching for a life partner for so long. Up until now, you are still single. That is lack of growth opposite of growth is stagnation delay when you are stagnated at one spot you are not moving forward you are just there financially you are there it is not a normal thing when you are stagnated that is the work of the devil don't feel that stagnation and delay is because you are waiting for God's time. One major prank and trick of the devil is to tie people at one spot to make sure they are not growing. Check your life in all areas of your life. Are you growing? When you put in effort, when you work, are you fruitful? Are you fruitful? Does your effort yield results? If not, you are stagnated. At least, when you are working hard, you should be growing. You should be succeeding. You should be making money, moving from one stage to another. If not, that is stagnation and fruitlessness. Let's look at this powerful Bible passage. Genesis 1, verse 28 to 29. Genesis 1, verse 28 to 29. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. God blessed man and said to man, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over all the fish in the sea and the bears in the sky 
and over every living creature that moves on the ground. It is the wish of God that you are fruitful. You increase in number. You fill the earth. How do you increase in number? You give birth. You are increasing in number when you give birth. When you become richer, richer, wealthier, you are increasing in number. Because the money you have in your bank account is growing. Increasing in number. Increasing in all area of your life. I pray for you, child of God. You are going to increase. This year, 2023, is your year of increment. In the name of Jesus, this year, 2023, you will increase in all areas of your life. You will increase financially, academically, you will increase. If you have been failing your examination, you are going to pass and move to your next level. Maritally, you will increase. Spiritually, you will increase. You are going to become stronger, closer to God, so that the enemies, the agents of darkness, we flee away from you. It is the wish of God that you increase and multiply. Bear fruit. Your labor should yield fruit. So it is not the will of God that you are working. You put in all your effort, yet you are still struggling. It is not the wish of God. Stagnation is a seed, an evil seed, planted by the devil. So this is what you are going to do. You are going to read Genesis 1 verse 28 to 29 and pray with it. Oh Lord, you have blessed me. You are going to personalize this. You have blessed me. You have told me to be fruitful and increase in number and multiply and fill the earth. Oh Lord, I receive your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I receive your word into my life in the name of Jesus. I stand on your word in Genesis 1 verse 28 to 29. I receive fruitfulness in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. I receive increment in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. From now on, I will increase, I will grow, I will prosper in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. Since you, O oh Lord, have blessed me to be fruitful, to prosper, to increase, I receive your blessing into my life. I stand on your word and I receive my fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I receive my growth in the name of Jesus. And that is all. When you are done, you thank God. You thank God. You praise God. And have faith. That is all you need. I pray for you, child of God. You are going to move forward from now on. In the name of Jesus. I stand on the word of God. In Genesis 1 verse 28. I speak fruitfulness into your life. Receive your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Receive your increment in all areas of your life. You are going to increase. In all areas of your life, you are going to grow. Receive growth in your business. Receive growth in your finance. Receive growth in all areas of your life. What is growth? When you are moving forward, you are jobless, now you have a job. Your business is not working fine, now your business is doing fine. You are single, now you are married with children, you are progressing. Receive progress in the name of Jesus. From now on, you are going to 
see a change in your life. All you need to do is to wake up at midnight and pray with this powerful Bible passage. Oh Lord, I receive your blessing of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I receive your blessing of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I receive your blessing of increase in the name of Jesus. Because you have said, I should increase, I should be fruitful in Genesis 1 verse 28 to 29. I receive increase in the name of Jesus. Call out any area of your life you want increase and that is all you need. Pray like this every midnight for three days and have faith. You will increase. You will grow. You will see turn around in your life. Whatever is tying you down to one spot, at one spot, is broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has done, every evil cause, tying you down, tying your progress down, tying your growth down, is broken with the blood of Jesus. You are free to increase in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And make sure you turn on the bell for more videos. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will see you again.